What is up, good people? Jungle Link here. Hope you're doing well. Big news out of the Solana ecosystem. PayPal just a month ago expanded into the Solana ecosystem, launching their PayPal stablecoin. Now there is more PayPal stablecoin volume on Solana than there is on Ethereum. Massive, massive growth. PayPal is nearing $1 billion in supply for the first time ever. And they've seen $400 million in growth in just one month. This is absolutely massive. This is what you want to see, a blockchain that is deriving value for others on the outside that want to integrate and want to build on that chain. Massive. Again, I don't have any Solana. I've talked about in the past, but real hacks to recognize real here. That's some impressive growth. There was some other news out of the Solana camp today. Van Eck had previously tried to file for a Solana ETF. They were trying to be the first to market with such a thing. Now their filing has disappeared. What's going on here? Uh, I would have to guess it's one of two things. Number one, it could be SEC pressure. Of course, the current administration probably does not want a, a flood of crypto assets getting ETF approval. Maybe they realize that's unrealistic. But it also could be, as they're getting ready here, they realize there's just not enough demand. Now, one of my friends, when I said that uh, on this post, took that maybe the wrong way, thinking I'm saying something bad about Solana. It's my opinion, we just had two big crypto ETFs launch, uh, Bitcoin being the biggest of all time, Ethereum being one of the biggest. I think you have to let that settle a little, a little bit. I think we will see expansion into the broader crypto market in 2025, but I don't think now is the time to keep steamrolling with more crypto ETFs. It's getting ready for next year. You know, people will get their positions in those two assets. They will want to expand. And when the time is right, you will see your Black Rocks, your Fidelities, and other people, including Van Eck, come out with other crypto assets. I think we're going to have to wait till next year for a host of different reasons. One of them is I just don't think the demand would be there just yet. But it's coming soon here. So it's nothing against Solana when I said that. Now, he retorted on this post, you know, very strongly Solana is going to be the first next year. And I agree, at this point in time, Solana's the front runner. But remember this. If we look back, uh, you know, not that long ago, this is January 1st, 2023. We look at the market cap of cryptocurrencies, you know, Solana's number 17 there, just behind Uniswap, Shiba Inu, and Polkadot. And the values of these coins, I think Solana's about nine bucks there. Things move quickly in this space. You have to recognize because of things like this, you know, this massive growth for PayPal and lots of stuff going on with DeFi and gaming. And there's just a lot of activity and growth within the Solana ecosystem. Yeah, they're going to be the front runner at this point in time. But where we find ourselves in 2025, it's impossible to say for sure. But this we know. There's going to be an expansion. Solana is going to make the cut for sure. Uh, your major crypto assets are going to be uh, placed into ETFs. And they're going to broaden this uh, investment asset category out so you can invest in sectors within crypto very easily with these ETF bundle products. It's going to be a wild different world over the next couple of years as they really integrate fully the crypto asset ecosystem into traditional finance. Let me know what you think down below. As always, please like, please subscribe. The revolution will be televised right here on Jungle Link.